track another club banger You better hang on when we throw this thing on Get your exoskeleton suit on in case the Zeno spits you can bank on it Pedicure, manicure, ravager, claws The way these Zeno scale up those walls Looks like one of them caught some lead Rick shake bounce to the back of his head None of you cares, it's already dead I'll need a plasma weapon in the 40 watt range Hey, it's just what you see, pal You probably saw the title and thought to yourself What the fuck? Which brand of glue has Viral been sniffing now? But you'll be surprised to find out that the ball sack face hugger, my given name, was an actual creature design considered for the movie Alien v Predator back in 2004. Alien v Predator was actually a decent movie. In 2004, a satellite detects a mysterious heat bloom beneath Bouvetoya, an island about a thousand miles off the coast of Antarctica. Wealthy industrialist Charles Bishop Wayland discovers via thermal imaging that there is a pyramid buried 2,000 feet beneath the ice. He attempts to claim it for his multinational communications company, Wayland Industries, and assembles a team of experts to investigate. The team includes archaeologists, linguistic experts, drillers, mercenaries, and a guide named Alexa Lex Woods. It loosely follows some elements of the comic book where Machiko Noguchi becomes an honorary yaucha. But this time, it's Lex Woods who's given the highly lifespan-shortening honor. Wait a minute, Viral. I never saw any ball sack facehuggers in the movie. Only ordinary rapey vagina ones. You just made this up to get views. Well, not quite. Artist Constantine Sakeris, I'll leave a link to his profile below, produced a variety of sketches back in 2001 while working in practical effects at Steve Johnson's Edge Effects. The company got a call to put in a bid for the upcoming Alien v Predator movie. Constantine produced a very cool xenomorph suit that could actually be worn by a person. Kind of reminds me of the Jurassic Park raptor costumes, but more alien-y. Another design shows a very tall and thin, almost fantasy-inspired xenomorph creation, and some very bizarre Queen Alien designs where the Queen has limbs like a spider. Well, beats the high heels. Yes, the Queen Alien's feet were designed around high heel shoes. She really is a bitch. But hiding within these designs is a creature so crude and so disgusting that I almost vomited my breakfast upon happening across it. A type of face hugger, or maybe a hammer peed, I don't know, that looks innocent enough on first glance until you realize that it possesses the biggest pair of testicles I have ever seen. And no, I don't mean it in a he's very brave sense. I literally mean two dangling sweaty testicles attached to his body. Yes, his, not its. With a pair that size, I refuse to use the sexually neutral it handle. Mario Keller, some women have balls. Yeah, I'm sure they do. 20th Century Fox were actually presented with this design for the movie as an alternative to the standard facehuggers, but it was, unsurprisingly, rejected. The balls need more hair. The balls are detailed with veins and slime, just the way we used to draw them in school. Ah, brings back memories. I'd take a rapey vagina face hugger over this ball hugger any day. God knows what its reproductive process is. I imagine something horrific, like being teabagged to death. At least you know what you're getting with a vagina hugger. Standard face hugger. And if cunnilingus is your kind of thing, you might even enjoy it the whole suffocation thing. Hey, you're the dude that clicks on these thumbnails. Another very disturbing element of this concept piece, shall we call it, is that the creature is facing away from us, which makes me wonder if it possesses a penis. The newborn did. The angle is such that we can't tell. But this is YouTube, so I decided to be assertive and take it upon myself to guess what it looks like from the front. You like my drawing? What's more gross, this or the newborn? The newborn has a penis and a vagina, and the penis is going into the vagina. Hard to beat. Answers on the back of a Christmas postcard. Bear in mind, this was actually designed to be a practical animatronic. So had 20th Century Fox approved the design, an actual ball hugger would be gathering dust in one of the studio basements to this very day. Think about that. That brings us to the end of Monday's Exotic Xenomorph. I hope you enjoyed this very furry episode. What creature should I cover next? Answers on the back of it. No, I already said that. On to the military parade.